Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 1 of To Your Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is going to make me cry. Oh god. Uh. Sir, you're in this. Oh my god. How many shows are you in? <laughs> show for this season that he's in but you know what I ain't mad at it oh so basically if you touch something oh so if a human touches you oh did you get moss on you interesting oh puppy oh oh But it was near you, so you turned into it, yeah. Mm -hmm. You think that, like, when he would change, damn. Oh, there we go. I'm about to be attracted to a damn wolf, you know. Uh, well, no. First it was a rock, but yeah, that's trash. <laughs> hmm. This just tells me, and it also screams, that this story is going to be so sad. Hmm? Oh, you're so... Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> Uh, oh! Oh. You don't want it? You're not hungry? Oh. Horn deal, deer milk. What the? Oh. Oh. Come on. I'm gonna love these two so much. The last one. Oh. 
Well, yeah, I mean, emphasis on the last one, because he is the last one. Makes you wonder what happened. Is that Shota Aoi? I got me so cute, you puppy! Puppy wolf. If that's not him, then, like, I don't know. But will you be able to go there together? Passed away. Mm. Huh? No one. <laughs> well, at least you have food. You don't want it? Yeah, it's good. No, oh my God, you'll break. Do you want to cut up? Honey, did you cook that? I mean, I don't know. Um, well, yeah. Raw fish is also good, too. But look at him. <laughs> you good? So wholesome. Is he drowning everyone that they lost? Or really that he's lost? Yeah, because they're all gone, and it's just you. And your pup. I think that's a good idea. You shouldn't stay here. Just a big old story about a boy and his dog. I can't. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this is probably gonna make me cry a lot. I don't know.
Yeah, because where the hell are y'all going to sleep? <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah. Just be careful though. Uh, you called? Yes and no. Oh. You're bleeding. No. Please don't tell me this kid is gonna die. If this kid dies, I swear to God, and this... Mm, like, not now, but like, later on in this series, don't do it. I swear to God. It better be. Just be safe and careful, okay? We don't need anything to happen to you. He's not going to make it. I just, I know it. Like, come on now. You can't start their journey like this. I need this kid to survive. I don't want him to be one off because we don't even know his name. Going the right way. Mm. It's not the right way. Hmm? Mm.
Yeah, but at the same time, it's so sad. They're all dead. Not with that leg, I don't know. Oh! Won't make it home. Come on, please get up. Out of film. No. He knows you're lying to him. <laughs> if only they didn't leave, he would have been okay. He knows. In his heart. He's not going to make it.
If only. Jesus Christ! God! Clean! How you doing? Clean! 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 Ah, uh, clean! <laughs> oh my God, you tell me. I'm not ready for this show. Like, I wasn't even ready after this first episode. Like, oh my God, I was thinking he was going to be okay. That he would have made it through his injuries. And the common, the cold, but of course, like, you could just tell when they, when they were on their way back, and they made it back, you knew he wasn't gonna survive. Oh god, this hurts. Uh, this is only the first episode, Jesus Christ, like, I can't imagine how this is gonna be for the rest of this season, but the fact that y'all got my queen, the queen, to do the opening song, like, you know, queen started out doing Kingdom Hearts, and now she got me here doing a song for an anime and Evangelion as well, like, she's come so far, and she's one of my favorite singers, I'm like, oh god. I need this song to- Oh, so that's the- Okay, that makes sense. Because this morning when I woke up and I was on my phone and I went on YouTube and it said, Utada Hikari, Pink Blood, and I was like, Oh, music video, but it said only seven seconds. And I was like, whatever this is, this is about to be the bomb-ass song. Like, Chiaki for Kingdom Hearts 3, like, that's a good song. Like, oh my god. Okay, but as I said, yes, that, any, you know what, any Utada Hikari song is good as fuck, like, I don't care. As someone who, a couple of months ago, I think it was, like, last year, it was, like, I think, one or two o'clock in the morning, um, because I, I had been wanting to watch this for, like, the longest time on my Netflix queue, but, um, I was so busy, and I said, you know, one night, I was like, we're gonna watch this, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be the happiest moment of life, um, it was the concert that she did. And your girl was in here at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning crying her butt off over almost every freaking song, singing along in Japanese even though I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But I just, I, that's what I love about any Japanese artist and how you can feel so many, like, emotions with their music and stuff. I mean, yes, like, as someone who listens to, you know, regular old English music and listening, I listen to mostly, like, a lot of Ariana Grande because, yeah, Ariana Grande. Um, kind of a little bit of Taylor Swift, it depends on, like, my mood, but I listen to almost, like, a little bit of everything. I'm not one particular girl in Ash and everything, but, like, I listen to a lot of here and there, but, it's, like, also I listen to a lot of Japanese artists as well. And what I love about Utada Hikaru's music, she just makes you feel everything, and almost everything is a freaking song. Like, I remember... <laughs> When I first heard um, both versions of Simple and Clean, and especially the second version of Simple and Clean that's at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, and, you know, <laughs> I think it was like 9, 10 year old Deja could not defeat freaking Riku Ansem and got sick and tired of hearing that freaking, you know, that whole dialogue all over again. It was either the not Clayton or, you know, it is I, Ansem, and always getting triggered on that ish. No matter how old you were, you got triggered on that. And then, you know, finally Nomura was like, yeah, we're going to get skippable cutscenes when this comes into the <laughs> to PlayStation 3. But, um... I remember the day when I finished the game and hearing, you know, um, the simple and clean rem uh, remedy and such and crying my butt off and such. She she just makes you feel everything and 
any song and just like you're just like yeah it's like queen i hear you like oh my god i can't this is gonna be a really good show i just know it i just hate the fact because i was thinking um from when i saw the trailer of this a couple of weeks ago because i was already signed up to this like i think months probably like whenever the, this show got announced the before this but then when utana came i was like oh hell yeah let's go so when I saw the preview of this, and this had to be like four or five weeks ago when they finally showed a trailer for this, and you see these two together, and I was like, okay, this is just going to be a story about a boy and his dog, and nah, y'all, <laughs> this is a completely different story. So it's now wondering is now since he is this kid, he's gone from a rock to a... Well, no, he's gone from an orb to a rock to a wolf to now a boy. Is he going to take the name Jaron? Is he going to, when he talks next week, is he going to sound like this boy? Or is he going to sound like one of my husband, one of my other husband of male sayers? Because, oh God, I'm not ready to hear him speak again. <laughs> I mean, after him playing Nanamine and Jujutsu Kaisen and then him also playing, um, in the, the, the main lead of The Way of the House Husband, even though I haven't watched that yet. But a lot of people are saying the show is good, but then, eh, And I'm like, you know what, I just need to see it for myself. But I don't know, I, I still want to make a reaction on that show, but I might have to wait at least one more week. Or if I don't have the time, I'll just binge it on my own and stuff. But is he going to take the name Jenna? Because that, that is the dog's name, the wolf's name. So it would make the most sense for him to keep that name. Because we don't know the boy's name. And I'm thinking this kid was going to be okay and survive. And that, you know, in episode two, damn it, um, whoever they were going to meet in episode two, he would have said, hi, my name is such and such. And we finally would have known the name of this kid and such. I didn't think that, you know, um, these two would have an emotional impact on me. Because, you know, so the, the only other thing I can probably compare this to is how I felt when I watched Sinful Gear for the first time in that very first episode. When, um, this is now clearly spoilers for the first episode of Sinfo Gear. If you have not watched Sinfo Gear, go ahead and stop the video now. If you have, or you don't care about spoilers, go ahead and watch. Um, Subasa's girlfriend, in my opinion, because that is her freaking girlfriend, I don't care. Uh, the duo that, uh, I don't remember their red-haired girl's name. It's been a while since I've watched Sinfo Gear. But the red-haired girl, she ends up dying. She sings her swan song, and I couldn't feel that emotion because she, we only, I only met her in, in like nine minutes, and then she dies. And so I was like, how am I supposed to get that emotional connection across when it's like I haven't gotten a full freaking episode to get attached to her? I didn't think I was going to get attached to this kid so quickly, but, but because it is a, a, a child and a, and a dog, I'm like, okay, yeah, I got to get attached to it because, of course, as someone who is a dog owner herself, and it's just, you know, when you see puppy, you be like, oh my God, precious thing, I love you so much, and you just want to protect whoever is protecting that dog and stuff because it's just like, oh, like, oh my God, but this really hurt, and I felt like the journey that we're about to go on for the next I'm guessing 24, 20, 24, or 26 weeks. This is going to be, you know, I, I thought Fruits Basket, the final season, was going to, you know, went off on a really good start. This went on, <laughs> this is like 10 times more, or even 100 times more emotional. So I feel like this is the start of a very, very emotional journey that we about to go on, and honestly, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm probably going to be crying in almost every episode knowing myself. But honestly, really, who knows? But honestly, like, oh my god, this was a really good start to this show. I mean, every other show that I've watched this season, because this is officially my last show um, for this season, has had a really good start. But this, this has had the best start. I don't think anything else could compare to this. Like, oh my god. But... Other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode one of To Your Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Monday for episode two. Bye, guys.